What we're trying to do here is understand better photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is one of the most important processes in nature. It provides all our uh, food and all our fuel. And it occurs in every green leaf. But it occurs very rapidly and we have to try and understand what goes on. It's important to know what, uh, to understand what goes on. Uh, if we're going to improve on it or modify it, for example, for agriculture, improving agriculture, or uh, particularly I'm interested in uh, the use of photosynthesis for energy, the, the, the producing uh, of fuels uh, for transport and everything else. Well, now, as I said, it goes very, very fast, and I mean fast. The the whole process of photosynthesis that occurs in the light uh, occurs in about a billionth of a second. And a lot happens in that billionth of a second. So how are we going to follow those processes? What we really want to do is sort of make a movie uh, which is all over in a billionth of a second or less. Now if you were making a movie, for example, of uh, you wanted to know how a bird flew, how it moved its wings, you would have to have many, many shots in a thousandth of a second. What happens in a leaf, with the electrons going across the leaf, is very much faster still. It occurs in a millionth of a millionth of a second, or even less, and so we've got to have a very fast movie indeed. And the camera, so to speak, or the apparatus which produces such a movie, is, is this uh, set up here. Of course, these are lasers. But the, this particular laser uh, produces pulses of less than a picosecond. A picosecond is a millionth of a millionth of a second. In fact, we talk of femtoseconds, which are a thousand times faster still. And we, we take a sequence of pictures with those pulses of what we're really looking at the, is the electrons and the the. Uh, chemical processes occurring across the membrane of the plant. And we come up with a, a record rather like this. The, this is the, the time scale here, and the time scale from there to there is only one picosecond. And you see we've got a hundred shots in that time, so we're getting, a, in fact, we're getting a shot every, uh, every uh, 17 femtoseconds. Um, why, why What's the importance of all this? Well, the real importance I've already hinted at uh, is in understa understanding photosynthesis. By genetic engineering and other processes, when we understand it, we should be able to modify, we should be able to improve plants for agricultural purposes, and perhaps most of all, we might be able to produce m efficiencies so great uh, that photosynthetic fuels become the preferred fuel of the future.